Hi everyone. So uh, John and I were honored to sit down with uh, the wonderful Roberta Finley. And boy, we learned plenty. So uh, if you'd like to find out which one of the three of us was a prodigious child piano player, child prodigy played at Carnegie Hall. That was one of the three of us. You take your guess, uh, John, me, or Roberta. <clears throat> Uh, also, which one of us has been jailed numerous times? Take a guess. John, myself, I meant, I said numerous times. John, myself, or Roberta. And uh, which one of us has directed uh, some adult cinema um, in cahoots with the wonderful Walter Sear? God bless him. So be sure to t tune in to Gear Club episode... 71, and boy, I hope you enjoy. Okay, thank you, Roberta, from John and I. What's it like working for Roberta? It's insane. Yeah, yeah. what would it's you think? Insane. Every morning she's fired up. It's just every, nobody's doing anything fast enough. Everything's on fire. But I come in every morning, and I, all I want to do is just ease into, mm -hmm. you know, we don't have any clients here yet. Right. I'm going to make a coffee. Everything's set up from the night before, so we're we're good. We don't need to. But she comes in and says, there's a coffee. Why is this? So it's insane. So she is the morning wake-up call. Gotcha. Um, but she, she's like my crazy aunt. Yeah. You know, it's, I've known her for a long time at this point. And, you know, the most important part of my years, of, you know, yeah. as an engineer. Yeah. Kind of can't help but love her as crazy yeah, as she is. Yeah, yeah. yeah, of course. Same. Yes, no. Yes, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's we good. went out to eat with her. <laughs> right? Oh, man. So I, 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 you I, weren't here for yeah, that. Yeah, I know. I'm so pissed. You guys said, do you want to go? Yes, no. Yes, no. Do, would you like it to be? No. Yes, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh, what do you want in your drink? Yes, you no. Good studio stories. How about when um, uh, the uh, well, was this Harris tried when? to uh, throw Walter out? I don't really. Know. Well, he had his. He wasn't wearing a shirt, so well, who wasn't wearing a shirt? Walter? Walter? This Harris. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> what year is this? Oh, well, that is horrible. What year so, is this? Well, uh, when was this? Um, let's see, let's see, some silly album, show tune, something. Okay. Uh, uh, Liza Minnelli's vibrato was an octave apart. It's an octave apart. From his. Okay. No, no. And her oh, own, her thing uh, yes, moved uh, an yeah, octave. Yes. Wow. <laughs> C to C, I was an octave. Um, I, so wait a minute. Who tried to kick who out? Oh, yeah. Well, it's a... It's not much of a story, but what can I do on a moment's notice? Yeah, there you uh, go. So uh, it was reported to Walter, I think this is the mid-2000s, like seven, eight, something like that, nine, and 2000, uh -huh. not <laughs> 1800. Yeah. Kind of um, it was reported to Walter uh, one day, or me, that the doorknob on the, the f on the front door had fallen off of the fifth floor. And then Mrs. Well, this now called and said she was on her way here, the wife. And Walt said, oh, dear, oh, dear, how's she ever going to get in? Uh, and you'd have to know the geography of the fifth floor. Right. I tried to make a hall down there, but he refused to do it because take too much room. Right. Uh, so the fire door, the door to the back of the whole floor, uh, is in the live room. Uh, so Walter right. went down to the fire door and started banging on the door, and apparently was the only take that was oh, able to get where he was in tune or singing. Of course, and all he hears is this banging on the door so that he could be let in. And uh, and but I didn't like uh, it. No, he didn't like that. And eventually he was let in, and Walt said, "There he was, naked. I don't know. It says <laughs> it oh says God. skin uh, disease or something, and couldn't stand to wear a shirt." Uh, and uh, so he, they started scuffling and he tried to throw him out. Physically? Uh, apparently, yeah. Wow. Yeah. And um, uh, Walter blamed the assistant on stealing his keys. What? <laughs> My favorite thing about Roberta is at the end of every conversation we have, she says something fantastically disparaging about the subject matter of the person. And as she walks away, you'll hear her walk and just say out loud, I never liked that person anyway. Or she'll say, I don't know, John, maybe you should get a real job. 
or just something amazing like that. And it's just so great to watch her walk down the hallway, just saying, just cutting it and cutting it great. She is such an amazing person. I love her. Walter founded Sonic Youth. So I think yeah. they did their first album in his old studio. Yeah. The famous story was apocryphal. I'm sure he made stuff up. He was a tremendous liar, Walter. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That's Every, great, he told but, lies constantly. But you counter him very well because you're a truth teller. Oh. Oh, I am? No, yeah. no I'm making no, all this are. stuff up. I don't think that's the case at no, all. No, Come on. I'm making all this stuff up. Yeah. Anyway, uh, he, he claimed that uh, he was very close to Lee, uh, yeah. Lee Rinaldi, yeah. and um, they were there, and uh, they were preparing to play, and he said, stop. Wait, all your guitars are out of tune. I will come and tune your guitars. Obviously, you don't know how to do that. Right. And Lee said, you will destroy the group if you tune the guitar. <laughs> Walter said, I cannot record out of tune instruments. Walter was a huge influence right. on everything I did in and out of the studio. Right. You know, I mean, his advice on a personal level was constant. And right. somehow that man was always right. right. No matter what he said, it was right. Yeah, I didn't think I didn't think this place was going to be allowed to grow. Right. You know, he was constantly building, constantly. You know, if he heard a piece of gear that he mm -hmm. loved, it, he would find a way to get it. And I was afraid it was going to just kind of wither away. But I want to say our last two years have been stronger than anything That's awesome. That's great. I experienced while he was here. But you've right. kind of walked into those shoes. That you're that guy here now. I'm trying to be. Right. Yeah. One of my most memorable moments this year was uh, working on a rhythm section date for La India with Sergio George. We were having a, a really fun time with the band, and I used to love when Walter would always come in and visit. He was always curious how we were set up, and he always loved to hang out. I remember after many sessions, uh, uh, Walter would uh, come in and say hello after the session. I'd be I'd be packing up and say it's time to leave, and he would say, "Let's get with my other engineers and uh, and hang out for a little while." So I always felt very welcomed with Walter, and I always saw a lot of passion with Walter. I really enjoy working at Sear Sound. It's a great studio. The staff is always wonderful. I feel like they're friends, a great group of people, and a real proper studio.